What's going on, Chino Facts? My name is Josh Williamson, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, where we last left off, excuse me, we were doing the mission late checkout, and we failed it, and I decided not to try again, you know, during that, because I had phone calls coming, and it was interrupting me, and I had to take care of it. Alright, so, but anyways, let's retry the mission. We're at the hotel. <clears throat> we gotta kill Isaac all over again. Like I said last time, blow your dad. Let's get through these people again. I'm pretty sure it hurt a lot, Nico. But let's keep moving. You sure you want to do this? I'm very sure. I'm not just sure. I'm HIV positive. <laughs> I so I'm sorry. That episode of South Park came to mind for some reason. Let's get back upstairs. Let's kill Isaac all over again. <clears throat> Save yourself, run. Get out, slut. Me. Simons were fucking beautiful. So was your death. You didn't want to get killed. You shouldn't have done business with gangsters. Exactly. Alright, up the stairs. Idiot. <laughs> Keep this boring and stay- oh my god. Shut up. Man. There we go. Oh, wait. Wrong way. I'm losing my mind. Okay, let's get on the elevator and get out of this place. As soon as it comes up. <laughs> you know, I usually don't like taking elevators personally. They scare me sometimes. I've heard stories of people getting crushed by elevator doors, and they unnerve me. But at my job, 
you know, where I'm a janitor at a college and there's different floors and I have to carry a janitorial cart, I have to use an elevator. Crap. I've got to get further away if I want to lose my wanted level, apparently. <clears throat> get out. Let's get away from here. Why is the water level sheet not working? I swear to God, this is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me move my face. No, not not the. I want to move my face. I already escaped from the hotel. Why is the one level still there? And I've been selecting the cheat a thousand freaking times. Shut up. There we go. That was stupid. Yes, I do. I hate when that happens. <laughs> I shut Isaac up for you. I feel like all I've been doing is shutting people up ever since this diamond thing started. Well, we ain't got the diamonds, but we don't know where they are. Johnny, that biker scumbag has disappeared with the money. And every other mouth that came close to those diamonds is close for good. Except for yours, that is. Gotta be grateful for that. Screw you, Ray. I ain't your cleanup guy no more. You get that? All right, Nikki, all right. Don't go forgetting about respect or nothing. You're still just another straight off the boat punk. This city can get real scary if you don't got friends. You remember that. Yeah, it's best if I don't have you as a friend, though. I have all the friends in this place, like Packy McCreary and Brucey and uh, Brucey Kibbets. Okay, so there's no missions available right now. I guess I have to wait for a phone call. I can't remember what mission pops up next. Oh yeah, in the la in the last video, a mission for Bernie or Florian, because Florian. Gave a call in the last video. Okay. So we got a mission for Phil Bell next. <clears throat> He's an associate for the Mafia family that uh, Ray works for. Ray's a made man in. Ray's a capital regime for a Mafia family. You'll find out the family later in the game. I'm not going to spoil anything right now. You all paper.
trying to get close to a man. I'm sure you do, but you said you'd help me. I've already helped you, but I'll help you again. Wait for me to be in touch. All right. Let's continue going going to see Phil. <clears throat> Who's way more tolerable than Ray, in my opinion. Open the gate. Oh wait, wrong way. Stupid me. Here we are. Truck hustle. Did what? 37 and 8? No. <laughs> what about them swinging? How's Marlene? The kids? Dude. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's shout. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure, we can talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat? No, the guy with the, you know, the butter beep butter boop. <laughs> the guy with the... The butter beep butter boop. The... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Heard? So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off. And I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours. Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come good here. to meet you too, Phil. <coughs> the Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street in West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just ask her. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time. Be in touch, Nikki. Alright, so Phil and Ray, they actually hate each other. So it looks like they have a they have a good friendship right there, but they actually hate each other. <clears throat> And you'll see more of, you know, that later. I forgot how far away this truck is. Let me look at the map. Oh, it's not that far. So I think I'm making a little bit of progress on getting my voice better. You know, I, I feel like there's a little less mucus in there right now. 
<sighs> All right, let's steal the truck. Let's use a rocket launcher on these guys first. So I actually have to grab onto the back of it. Because it moves pretty slow, which it's not that hard to catch up to. There we go. Tap yourself repeatedly to get back and get onto the truck's roof. This is actually a pretty intense part of this game. This is a pretty intense mission. Mika goes full help mission impossible in this. I'm not moving in that direction, Nico. Get out. I've got the complaint about your driving gas hole. Get out. Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew Frank. Take it out to the big house off of Beaver Head Avenue. You know the one. They'll be waiting. All right, so let's take it out to this old abandoned mansion. <clears throat> now this abandoned mansion is thought of by fans to be, because this is Liberty City, this mansion right here is thought to be Salvatore Leone's mansion location. But it doesn't look anything like it. Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we can ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. 
Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Yeah, good luck with that wedding, Frankie. <laughs> well, the wedding already happened, didn't it? Good luck with the honeymoon. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line. Go to the pay phone on the corner of Petulo and Hartford. So those missions are optional. I'm not going to do them. Jimmy P, that's the mob boss that Ray works for, and Phil's an associate for. Jimmy Pegorino. We'll go over to meet him when we dress up in nicer clothes. Yes, I love the Claude outfit, but can't wear it when I'm meeting, when I'm meeting Jimmy Pegorino. There we go. Excuse me. Alright. Give me a ride to Jimmy Pagarino's house. So we need to go to Bill <coughs> Red Avenue. Alright then. Let's do it. This is as far as I can go, okay? This is the voice from your past, Nico. Bernie. Can you guess who it is? Florian? That's not my name! Bernie, <laughs> what can I do for you? I need you to come around to Florian's my a better Nico. name. Please, come soon. Florian's a way better name than Bernie. These are smart clothes. Wait. Did I not change my shoes? Get out. Packy. Nico, I don't know if you've heard it, but my brother Derek is dead. No shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just hope he was smacked out of his brain when it happened because it wouldn't have suited him to be jonesing when he died. There isn't any good way to go, though, is there? I guess not. Gerald got arrested, too. They got him in the Aldi State Correctional Facility. They took Jerry down? Don't worry, he's always being hauled in, but the charges don't stick. Come to Derek's funeral. It'd mean a lot to the family. It's today at the church in Suffolk. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Okay. Come on! Come on! Come on! These people really cannot drive. 
So, I guess I'm gonna buy a new pair of smart shoes, I guess. I'm gonna go to Perseus. We're going to make a change. Let's skip the destination. <clears throat> so can you take me to Amity Street? Thank you. Kate. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Yeah. I didn't really know Derek that well. I remember looking up to him as a kid. He had a dream back then. He was inspired. The Derek that came back to Liberty City was broken. He probably wanted to die. Yeah. It still has to be hard for you. It's hard for my mom. Trying to be there for her. Are you going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. All right. Yeah, I was right. I needed to buy a new pair of shoes. Hello. Thank you for visiting Perseus. I want a black pair. You're gonna look smoking tonight. I already look smoking. Listen up again soon. You have a weird voice. So yeah, if you guys don't remember, in the mission Blood Brothers, where you had the choice to kill either Francis or Derek, I chose to kill Derek. That's an unpopular decision, but I thought, you know, Francis was a really nasty, is a really nasty person, okay? He's a really bad guy, uh, but Derek, two things. One, he had a major heroin and alcohol addiction, and he was basically already killing himself, so it was basically better to put him out of his misery. And also, I have this strong suspicion that he is the one that got Jerry in incarcerated. So, yeah. And if he actually did, and Packy found out about that, he would have never forgiven Derek. So, I chose to kill Derek. That's the reason why he, his oh, funeral. Here we are. <clears throat> and also, Derek ends up dying, you know, after this game, anyways. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. That is why God put us on earth. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him. There's Francis. But he was a committed family man. And a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith. And that is what he gave us in his way. Derek gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. Amen. Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Yeah, I don't blame you, Kate. What I never expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. You've got the strange. There's the Albanians. I don't know. The Albanians are really scumbags. What in the hell is this? Some of these people have to have respect as well as other funeral. I'm gonna teach you for doing this at my brother's funeral. Taking one down. Another powerful Nico, this is a full on assault. Take over. Get out of here. Can 
they can throw much more at us. Make a run for the cars! Quickly! Get in the Romero. Alright. We're gonna drive the hearse down to the to the cemetery and bury Derek. Alright, man. We're burying Derek in the graveyard in Steinway. Let's get there. More Albanians. Damn it, some back doors like. Just keep Just keep putting in the health cheat and that'll repair the purse. God's sake! Yeah, yeah, I get it, Packy. This is a pretty stressful mission. It's easier when you kill Francis. There's a whole lot of air where the back door should be, Nico. Go easy on her, my brother will fall out. Shit, we lost the back doors. Don't lose my brother, too. Go easy there, Nico. Damn it, with some back doors light, Nico. Fucking casket better not fall out. Go easy. There's a whole lot of air where the back door If I hear go. Packy say go that one more time, I'm gonna go out. crazy. Shit, we lost the back doors. Don't lose my brother, too. Go easy there, Nico. Just don't get in my way, and that won't happen. Damn it, with some back doors like Nico. <laughs> Fucking casket better not fall out. Go easy. I think we finally lost him. Finally. If Derek was alive, he'd need a shitload of horse to deal with the stress of this situation. If Derek was alive, he wouldn't be in this situation. That's a valid point, Nico. Who knows what sort of situation we'd be in? Derek needed a good dose of smack to cope with most of the situations that life threw at him. You gotta admit that. We all have our ways of coping, Becky. <clears throat> Derek's. He had the hard life. He's having a hard death, too, if this is anything to go by. I never knew it was so difficult to put a body in the ground. That's why I normally tie breeze blocks to him and throw him in the hole. Idiot. Hunger. Is that what you suggest we do with your brother? But you're a sick man, Nico. I'd fucking slap you if I didn't love you so much. It's only consecrated ground for a brother of mine. All right. Well, here we are at the cemetery. Say goodbye to my brother. Amen. Amen. Rest in peace, Derek. 
even though I killed you. Thanks, Nico. What for? Derek never had many friends. He sort of lived in his own head. It means a lot, you coming here and helping this messed up family of mine. I did not come for Derek. I came for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Wake up! Okay. Stop! I'm gonna do a mission for. Bernie, hey, no. So we need to go to Ivy Drive South. You got it. And Bernie has some of the worst missions, in my opinion. So I gotta get them out of the way first. Here we are, man. End of the line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hating the haters. This is a very annoying mission. Florian, open the door. <clears throat> And I told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie opened the door. What's going on? Come in. Come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? He is one of the prissiest characters. <laughs> To get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks. Oh, like me. Yes! Well, no. Well, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Lovely. Night. Rice found some gray hairs. If he leaves me, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing ultimate disc, some guy comes up and threatens me. He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because, uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. What? I keep thinking I'm being followed and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home! Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. Ooh, I'm so glad you've come back into my life. That's cool. But listen, you and I don't know each other. How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. Alright, let's go grab that car. This is a very irritating mission. Not real. I keep active, you know. Is there a name for that fitness plan? I take a class if I could be guaranteed funds like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being errand boy for the mob. <laughs> yeah, basically. You know, I know that Bernie slash Florian is gay, you know, but he just takes being, you know, super prissy gay to a whole new level. He acts like a princess. Which, I don't have a problem with that, but still. I just wanted to point it out. <laughs> Let's get our heart rates up, Nico. Remember to hang back. I need to charm him out. Hey. Let's just keep a distance from Florian. Yeah, look at how he runs. He's one big stereotype in this game. Watch it. Follow my bun, sweetie. Yeah. 
There he is. I'm about done with you, homo! Uh, uh, oh. Why don't you pick on someone who'll fight back? What's your problem, fag lover? Would you stop trying to get me demonetized? Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. Uh, come back here. Homophobe. You have to chase after him on a scooter. This is a very, very irritating mission. It just makes you want to kill this guy even more. Sorry, I'm just trying to kill him. Oh, come back here, you coward. Scooter. Is that sound where I think it is? What does that mean? Hang on one second. There he is. Fuck you, fag lover. <laughs> Stop making me kill other people. I swear this guy's such a coward. Hey, it's his fault. It's that homophobe's fault. There we go. Bernie, get on the scooter. Uh, what? I'm not dressed for jail. You're gonna. We need to get out of here. You're gonna wear my balls for earrings. Oh, get a move on. Help. That's kind of gay. I'd expect that talk out of Bernie, but not a straight cop. I swear, Do Not Disturb keeps turning off on its own on my phone for some reason. Why? I'm sorry about this. Whatever, I'm keeping it like that. Did you get your license out of a vending machine? <coughs> Jeez, I got far away from... Bernie's house. Well, apartment, rather. <laughs> okay. 
here we are. Damn you! A hole. He's not going to attack you again. No, he ain't. You're an absolute sweetie, Nico Bellic. I never would have thought it. Get me more serious score, Div Nikovechi. Thank you. Okay. Taxi. Hey, Cap! To Albany Avenue. <coughs> Here we are, man. End of the line. Okay, so I got a thumbs up from Packy for some reason. There's a, there was a message that Nico, thanks for that. Thanks for that back at the funeral. You're a good man. That was some crazy stuff. Last thing Ma needed. Saw you talking to Kate, you slight. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that word. These eyes don't miss nothing. Yeah. So later on in the game, as as I keep on playing it. I am going to probably get calls from Kate, you know, asking to go on dates. And I'm going to end this episode here for now. So post your comments down below. Post your comments down below. Let me know what your opinion is on this. If you like this video, thumb up. Hate this video, thumb it down. On the social media, my backup channel will be down in the description box. As well as a, a link to... I was about to say as well as a link to the original video. But I, I was playing a game. <laughs> and be sure, be sure to click subscribe. I'm going to become a member of the GW faction. I'm going to 10,000 subscribers. See you later.